Hi, welcome to Robin's Roost. Today I'm finally opening up my beautiful um, home for the holidays paper pumpkin kit and doing a little bit of playing with it. So I've made a couple of cards that are exactly to the design and then a couple that uh, have a little unique fun fold to them and are using just bits and pieces and I've pulled in um, some extra dies and, and a stamp set. So let's flip the camera and see what we've got. First of all, I'll just quickly go through the um, the made to the directions cards and then I'll show you the other two. Now that we've done the cards the way they are in the directions, let's see what else we can come up with. So I have um, cut a card base with a um, top fold. So this is actually cut the long way. So it's four and a quarter, it's cut four and a quarter, and then I've scored it five and a half and two and three fourths. Don't quote me on that, but it's whatever half of five and a half is. So then we're going to make this a little easel card so it'll stand up like this. Now I've taken the um, one of the card bases. Mm, let me show you. So it started out like this, right? The whole card base. And I have cut it down so that this one is, whoops, sorry, off screen again. 
This is four inches by five and a quarter, so it's like a, a layer, right? And then with the back of the piece, I've cut this also down to um, four by five and a quarter, and that's gonna be our inside for writing on. So what we wanna do, we've got this folded like there's folded like this. Yeah, I guess that's what I wanted to say. And we're going to glue this on this bottom half. So let me see, I have, doing a card class this evening, so I'm not sure yet. So most of my tools are actually downstairs. Now let's hope I didn't put that glue too close to the edge. Let's see here, probably did. We'll wing it from there. So if I put my glue on my base, I won't get it um, up on the top part because I want that to, to swing up when you pick the card up. So it's going to lift up with it. So then we want to put some decorations here and I have taken a greeting from the very best occasions and it's may your days be happy, your heart be light, your Christmas merry and the new year bright and I really like that. So I've cut it with the um, one of the deckled rectangle dies and to make it pop a little bit from the from the white background these are the strips that were in between the, um, I don't know what you want, these layers, the little shiny layers. So I've just cut the strips apart and I'm going to put this behind here and then pop up our greeting on there. And all of my usual scissors are downstairs too, so I have some of my old uh, Girl Scout scissors here. Lucky I had them up here, I had to run downstairs. Oh my gosh, I do that enough. Okay. So we are going to just glue this down. Try not to get too much liquid glue on here so I don't splurt it out everywhere. So if you didn't have um, this stamp set, the greeting that comes in the kit that says celebrate the wonder and joy of this festive season would fit there very nicely as well. And then if you don't have dies, you could just cut it, um, you know, on a, on a rectangular piece of white cardstock. We're gonna pop this one up. So I was trying to stay with the, um, with the elements that are actually included in the kit other than the base, but of course, I had to pull in this greeting because I like that. And you can see where you could find your other paper pumpkin kits from the past or whatever you've got and, and pull in some different elements just to make it a little bit special. And I got that on there crooked. Let's see if we can just swing it just a little bit. Okay, I think it's better. All right, so now for the inside, we're going to put this um, this white base, and then I have stamped and colored a little house, and this stamp was from the from the kit, from the paper pumpkin kit, and I'm going to put this in the middle here with a with the um, oh gosh, Robin, can you not talk with a glue dot? Not a glue dot. A dimensional. Holy mackerel. It's going to be a wild class tonight, I think, if I'm doing this well now. Okay, let's see. Oh, we want to glue this down first, though. And let's stamp. So I want to stamp. Let's see. Let me think. Our greeting says, Your Christmas Merry. Let's do a Happy Holidays on the inside. And I am using my, my real red ink pad. There was a red Stampin' Spot that came in here, but because I have my red ink pad handy, I'm just going to use that. So we'll do our Happy Holidays. And like I said, most of this is from the, from the kit, other than my, my paper, which you could use, you could use white if you have basic white or any color that's in your stash, right? I'm all for using a, using the stash. And then, let me put this 
right here. So here is our easel card. I can't get it to quite stay, but there we go. You can see how it'll look when it's open. And here's how it looks in the envelope when they get it. Darn, I forgot the glitter. So let's add some glitter to the um, roofs here. Okay, now we've got our glitter on there. So for our next card, we wanted to make um, a different a different look with the other the other um, card base that we have in this set. So I've cut a a barn barn door base out of real red. So this is this is again cut the long way. So it's cut at four and a quarter, and then. It's scored at five and a half, and then I've cut, um, this is a two inch piece here, and then cut off the top. So we're just, just kind of cut away that top. And then for the, um, this is one of the uh, pieces, right? And that's gonna go on the front here, on the flap, the barn door flap. And then for the back of it, I've actually cut, this was our card, our card base from the kit. And I've cut this to four by five and a quarter, so we'll have a little bit of the red sticking out. And we'll use that for something else. So we're just going to go ahead and adhere this down to the inside. And just center it on the, on the card. So I'm just going to leave this, this blank. This is going to be where we're going to write on. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere this on here. And we could pop this up too if you wanted a little bit more dimension to it. I think maybe I'm going to. And I see that this is just a little bit, after I'm done, I'm probably going to try to clip that, that little bit of that red off there. Maybe you could go um, with like one and three-fourths on the on the barn door now if you wanted to have a little bit of red show around here you could also trim this down a little bit but i'm leaving it full size oh shoot i forgot to i was going to stamp right on here the rat so I was going to stamp our Merry Christmas right on there, but now I will have to put it on a um, on a piece of cardstock and then attach it. Okay, and then I don't have any good scissors, but let's see if I can snip this. Oh shoot! And do not put these on the top. Whoopsie. Now I do have a, a glue eraser, of course, downstairs too. So don't put any adhesive on the top where it's going to hang over. Okay. Well, at least it wasn't liquid glue all over. And then, let's see, we're going to stamp a greeting. Let me find a strip of paper. Let's see. This is maybe a little bit big yet. We'll trim it down. And again, we're using the real red, which we have the spot that comes in the kit. just gonna trim this close so there are some um, stamp sets with words and dies that will actually do this trimming for you but of course we don't have that for this one and it's really just kind of laziness right because it's not that hard to trim around the words 
but we like to be lazy. Okay. So then I'm just going to add this onto here and we'll do this just with some liquid glue. But again, if I had remembered, I would have just stamped this directly onto the paper. But once I put um, the dimensionals on there, that was a little tricky to do. And then we'll add our glittery snow. And if you purchase one of the refills, which I think were still available for this kit, you get another bottle of this fun glitter snow, blue glitter, whatever it's called. Okay. So there you have the, um, let's see, yes, this one. Here's our, here's our original and our um, easel card and uh, I have so much junk here I can't find the original okay here's our original um, one of this one and here's our barn fold card so just tons and tons of different ways that you can use the supplies in this kit if you um, if you don't want to just stick with the the beautiful cards that are in the kit but you know crafters we all have to be a little bit um, creative and see what we can come up with on our own right so hope you have fun be sure to go online and see what else you can find out there um, lots of cool ideas thanks for stopping by at the roost and have fun crafting